Oh, nope. so Typhoon has made Triff start. What? So this is an interesting Wild. strategy because Triff has been made to start, and I believe Triff takes out his Fog Blades when he starts, which kind of kind of weakens his deck to going first a bit. I think I spoke to Typhoon brief, uh, briefly about this. Let's check out his he side deck. He said he was going to try this going second. So going second, he's got the he's got Gamma, Prankatops, uh, Impermanence, Book of Eclipse, Red Reboot. All of these cards seem pretty good for going second against Pendulum, other than maybe like the Gammas and the Reboots. Uh, the Book of Eclipse, I think, is really what he's going to be wanting to try and get here, and hope that Triff doesn't really have the the sort of going first cards he was going to expect, but maybe so I, you, maybe you never know. Maybe Triff has sided for going first. And... It's an interesting thing building for a one v one because you're not siding in fifteen cards, surely. Yeah, um... you, you basically get to the you get to dedicate your whole side deck to one deck. Mm. Doing that can be quite difficult. Yeah. The other interesting thing is the fact that the decklists are public too, so you could just like mind game them by like siding in certain cards mm. instead of some other ones. Yeah, that is true. You might be looking at each other's sides, thinking, "What you know? What's my opponent going to side? I'll side this," and you get you get a lot of double bluffs and stuff going on. So we'll see how this uh, plans out. Triff doesn't seem to be doing too bad. Doing too bad though. The Electrum does come down before it is resolving. So there is no pr it's resolving. So it's unlikely there's a gamma. I believe Electrum would be the main target for gamma. Yeah, there's uh, no Ghost Ogres as well in either player's deck, so nothing to fear. Uh, for the Electromite, it's going to add back that Harmonizing, going to have that powerful Synchro play, getting a draw as well. I'm going to see if making Triff start is going to work out for Typhoon. So if Triff is not playing Vortex, what negates the gates can he put up here? Let's see. Uh, Triff's, and, uh, Triff's negates uh, going first. I, so, I mean, we can safely assume the Fog Blades probably came out. Um, I don't think he will have sided in the Zephyr engine because I don't think he will believe he was starting. I think Mermare will be in his deck. Uh, Mermare, Yazzie, and the Link Kree will, will probably He'll be probably in. have those hand traps in his deck right now. I'm surprised he hasn't bricked on them. Oh, good. Sorry, Ghost Ogre is actually played. Uh, Triff is uh, the one playing Ghost Ogre. So maybe he could have a Ghost Ogre in hand as well. You never know. Um, Louis, thank you for the 10 months sub. Appreciate it, buddy. Why is chat in all caps? Yeah, guys, remember, please use caps. This is a Triff Gaming stream. All caps only. Thank you. So, yeah, and we're going... Uh, oh, so he's... he is making the bar dish. I don't think he said that out the fog blades. I had a feeling you'll make me go first. Oh! Did he... he has did he kept have the fog blades in. Is that the double bluff read? If he sets oh. a fog blade to your stream, if he sets a, f a fog blade... Is... Oh, he will. He would not have made Bardish if there was no fog blade. In I mean, deck. it could be BM. You never know. But there it is. He double it. fog blade. Oh, the absolute God. mads, man. He didn't. He didn't side for going second stream. He sided for going first, anticipating that Typhoon would try and be tricky and double bluff him into letting Triff uh, go uh, go first. And he actually does it three set cards. What is this other set? Do we know it? Here's the here's the triple bluff. Typhoon has red reboot in his main in his deck right now. <laughs> there is the possibility of that. He did decide to say that because he knows Triff does go in with these trap cards in this build of his deck. So he might just have a red reboot for this game. If we see a red reboot, that is going to be this is going to be the craziest game ever. <laughs> I'm so excited right now, boys. 200 IQ, Steven. But if Triff, but if Typhoon resolves a red reboot. That's 400 IQ. That's 400 <laughs> IQ. <laughs> 5 million IQ. <laughs> yeah, this is indeed game two. And uh, Steve uh, won the first game uh, despite losing the dice roll. Going into main phase one. Typhoon starting with six cards. Let's see what he activates first and foremost. Uh, so, yeah, a double fall blade. What's, sorry, what's the third one? Do we know? We do not know. Okay, I, I mean, it can't be anything relevant, sure. Let's have a look here through his list. I mean, um, he might have, like, hard drawn Divine Strike, otherwise it'll be a bluff. A Divine like, Strike, like... a dead Divine Strike, it could be, a, it could be an it could Impermanence. It could be a dead Duelist Alliance. He has one Impermanence. It could be the one Impermanence, I guess. Maybe a set Duelist Alliance or a set Dragon Shrine. 
Pendulum players naturally have a higher IQ than other decks, of course, yeah. Prankatrops! Oh, Prankatrops. This is going to deal with one of the Fog Blades. It could just be straight up negated by the Jackal here. Probably just going to go into the battle phase and attack over something first and foremost. So, yeah, this can deal with a jack uh, with a Jackal and the Fog Blade here, which is quite good. Yeah. Declare an attack, maybe get Fog Bladed, and then tribute it off for cost, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, pop a card on the field. So Prank Chops is pretty good going here. Oh, he's going to activate Zephra first. So, no. so Zephra, as the purple poison dealt with two negates in the last game, this Prank Chops could deal with two negates this game. Curious why he's going with the Zephra first before the battle phase. He may have the red reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a red reboot? Do we have a red reboot? Sending the Zephraf. That's a scale seven. Uh, sorry, Zephrani. That's a scale seven that we've got now. And I am on the edge of my seat waiting for this next move. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is, is crazy. Chair support isn't too like menacing, although yeah. there are two fog blades littered about somewhere. Tiffin, thank you for this please here. See if he's going to keep pushing in the main phase or whether or not he's going to go to the battle phase or not. Oh, Pen there's the call. call. Pen call. Scarding that black fang. Activate it in the far column in case uh, that is the one of impermanence that has been put in here. Jackal's going to get some counters for this. Any response to the pen call? He said K. Yeah, that's, so it's going to uh, resolve. It's going to be fine. Probably going to get, get himself harm. a harmonizing and... A low skill, maybe, or... Yeah. It will be a low skill, likely. <clears throat> Can you activate Reboot with no room to set from deck? Yeah, it's one of those effects that you revolve, resolve as much as possible. Well, a red Reboot is also optional for your opponent to set a trap in their deck as well. Yeah, there you go. Harmonizing, and... And... Do, 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 do. Yeah, guys, this is big. 955 viewers. Make sure you guys... Uh... Yeah. Get your friends in here. Tell them about the big showdown that is going on right now. Smash the follow button. Smash the subscribe button if you if you have money. <laughs> and make Support sure... the stream and our friends. Smiley face. So we're activating the purple poison. So we've got a skill 1 and a skill 7 right now. That's a scale. Is Smile. Prankatrops a dark spellcaster? Unfortunately not. not. No, nah, he's an earth not. dinosaur. <laughs> oh, pen 4. Decoration. Pen four? Oh, yeah, right. yeah, okay. four. Here we go. Ooh, we've got to pen it up. Pen it up. That's oh, a driver. Wow. That's a driver. Oh, oh. That's an oh can't drop. fog blade the driver. <laughs> he actually can. Fog. <laughs> uh. So we're gonna use harm here. We're gonna see if it's gonna eat up a fog blade or a jack on get. Yeah, I think he's probably gonna, or he might just not use it. Chin links. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I guess he, he can, can order the chin. You can make Zephyr new chin link to, to play around yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah. it doesn't play around the fog with, of course. You can always fog with that harmonizer no matter where it is in the chin. It's just what he gets to negate with the jackal is different. Hmm. I think you're more likely to use the jackal here than the fog blade. Uh, but as we've seen Ooh, from. Uh... He's putting harmo on chilling too. Okay, so he wants he to protect wants, the Zephyr. He wants that negate. He really could. What, do, what could you go for here? You could go into. Um... Like what's why do you think he's protecting his Zephrani here rather so than harmonizing? So he can add Providence, and Providence can add uh, Zephraxaton, and Zephraxaton can destroy Zephrax, uh, Zephrath, and one of uh, Triff's back row. Yes, he is indeed meaning the Zephraxaton. Okay, interesting. Just pop set cards. There you go. But no matter what, I think we're just going to be seeing Jack on the Gate plus uh, Fogblade anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, he should probably negate both of these. Both of them? How do you negate both of them? You jack on to get his chin like three, fog blade chin like four. On the other. Oh one. yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Then of course Tefun can choose to disrupt one of the fog blades with the pancreatops, yeah. which will pr it probably just prompt the activation of the second fog blade. Jackal's gonna respond to the harmonizing. Will we see the fog blade? It's thinking still. Get some Farfa thinks in the chat, please, for the subscribers. There's the fog blade on the Zephranui. Fog blade so negating. Will we see his... <clears throat> 
So Pinker Tortoise would just prop the activation of the second fog blade, most likely. He's going to let that okay. resolve fine. He's not going to chain the Prankatops. Is he going for a link play of sorts? Do we may see an Electromite here. Electromite staring down the fog blade, chaining the Prankatops perhaps to that fog blade that responds to his Electromite. Go from there. Electromite seems kind of weak, I suppose, after the Pendulum Summon, but I mean, he could pop the uh, Purple well, Poison to get a draw and then uh, pop something. He could not pop the Purple Poison. He's under Pendulum Call right now. Oh, yeah, so he is. He is under Call. So, hmm. I'm trying to see Typhoon's options here. Checking out his extra deck. Or his Link Monsters not playing any Nightmares at all compared to Triff, who's playing the whole package of the Nightmares. So he's most likely going to want to deprive Treff of scales. Yeah. Any rank sixes in this list? No. So he may have just save this Pankratops for a scale pop, if I'm honest. It does seem maybe the correct line of play. Oh, shit. That's a ding. Yo, shout outs to Twitch chat. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it. We have just hit 1,007 viewers. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Make sure pogs, you hit the follow button. Pogs in the chat. Get some pogs here. Let's get some pogs going, boys. That is a thousand viewers. Make sure you hit the uh, follow button. Four four digit viewers. Four digit donation goal. Let's go, boys. I am a point one k Andy. We got a four. Di we got a four digit viewers. Let's get a four digit prize pool. Because it looks like uh, it's prize pool not. quotation marks. Farpa has said he will run away with the prize pool if it does hit four digits. <laughs> let's keep let's keep it at nine nine nine. So Driver here is going to attack over Bardish. I'm going to do 400 damage. Uh, 300, actually. Uh, it should harmonizing be 300. Is... Harmonizing is boosting yeah. everything by 100 right now. Boosted. I, bo I jokingly, jokingly boosted about my Bardish having 100 more attack. It was a joke. All right, I don't know how many times I'm going to do that tonight, but there we go. Bardish getting attacked over. Prankatrops dealing with the Jackal King as well. 100, and then the Chrono is going to hit for 2k. So he, so he can just purple poison this for free here. Give it twelve hundred. Purple poison doesn't die. Yeah. <clears throat> so I don't see any reason not to. Seems that Typhoon is uh, not going to do that effect because uh, he ain't quite the master that Jordan is here. <laughs> Thirty-two. Oh, 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 is that some stream sniping? Perhaps is it commentators giving so. Okay, we might have to delay some of our advice. It seems. Uh, let's give, uh, declare it then. <laughs> declare it, bitch. <laughs> uh, Triff asking his opponent to be a little more clear here. Yeah, so the most polite of ways Triff is asking his opponent to, uh, declare his effects, uh, correctly. Please, uh, follow procedure. Okay, so uh, this fog blade is gonna hit the graveyard now, because that's the fire has been linked away. Yeah, your, uh, your fog blade should be in the grave now, Triff. Uh, that's uh, good it. for him. Oh, that ogre for is down. Ghost ogre. Ogre so he did hand. have a hand trap, then, so he kind of 50 50 that. It. It's not as 200 uh, IQ as we thought. I don't know if you're. T I don't know if you're telling the truth. He, trif. he kept the traps in, but he also decided to keep in to put in the ogres. So he wasn't a hundred percent confident that uh, Tiffin would make him start. Or maybe that is his going first side. You never know. Like maybe he just wants to put in the ghost ogres going first. Uh, I think his going first side will be the soprano e engine. I'm I'm not sure I'd put in Ghost Ogres going first. His deck's kind of optimized for going first. Blue suit on with the pound donation. Thank you. Yo yo Leute, ich bin's Malte. What does Malte mean? I don't know. Am so, I am I calling myself did retarded? He, did he typhoon not here. put something to the extra deck? <clears throat> uh, typhoon. Uh, yeah, he should resolve his electric. Yeah. After Ogre. He did activate it, so it has to resolve. Yeah, uh, yeah. Typhoon, you have to finish completely resolving your uh, Electromite. National champion, by the way. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Malta is a name? Oh, okay, sure. Isn't Malta that country where Tori's go to for holidays? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna send Cerberus here. Is there any point in that? Is, I guess, is it just to not draw? Okay, I guess so. so. It's just if Finn has let Treff make it to the main phase without pancotopping a scale. So That's kind of interesting. Treff has priority on a Pendulum Summon here if he wants to. Um, Would likely only be a Pendulum Summon for two. But not, it, it, it can only be a Pendulum Summon for two. But So we're going to banish Fogwood for Bardish here. 
He doesn't play enough targets to activate Bardish again, is that correct? Yeah, but now uh, he can no, pin he them summon three, potentially. Yeah, that is, an, that is an extra zone. I think Tiffin may want to activate Pankratops here. And he would really just have to gamble on what scale he could have top decked, right? Uh, Triff just tried to activate Bardish, realizing he cannot. That's it. That's a that's a PE minor Triff. Triff racking up those slow plays and uh, unsporting conducts. So uh, technically, it should be a, a game loss, but we'll let that one slide, I guess. <laughs> he, he thought he had three fog blade in his deck, I guess. That is an illegal activation, actually. Can we get some uh, some judge emotes in the chat, please, for the for Triff there? Judge. So again, there's a scenario where. Um, oh, mm. pen call. Mm. Oh, this is really painful for Tiffin. Because even if he chains Pankratops, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Triff yeah, just adds it's... whatever he needs. So he must be. He basically has to save the Pankratops for after the Pendulum Summon now. Yeah, he's going to have to. Where like, it's going to have quite a through. low impact. It's going to have quite a low impact after that Pendulum Summon. It's going to be a big Pendulum Summon. He can still add back with his Oath Dragon, and he has a Pendulum with someone for three lined up. Plus, he's adding two cards to his hand. We're already seeing some two O's in the chat. This is uh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Not looking good for the the young Wunderkind. So, well, we are chaining the Pankratops for the Oath Dragon. So I don't I don't know Triff's list. Does Triff only play one Oath Dragon? Let's see. Uh... Triff if running... so, this makes, this makes a bit of sense. Triff does play one off Dragon, yeah. Yeah, this makes sense then. So, he is going to add the Purple Poison here, so he still has got Pendulum Summon, but... Oh, oh yeah. Tiffin does concede. Oh, that hurts. It is probably too much for him to do with here. Ah, oh, that hurts. We're down to... Oh, boys. Triff... We got Game 3. So this is a best of seven, everyone. This is a best of seven. We will be going into game number three now. And, uh, Tiffin, unfortunately, did not draw the red reboot. 